Senate President Coco Pimentel assures the majority bloc's re-election as senators he is fighting for their inclusion in the ruling PDP Laban slate in the 2019 elections. This after Senator J. V. Herzito said re-election as senators were left out despite having supported the Duterte administration and its policies. Speaker Pantaleon Alvarez earlier revealed his own senatorial slate for PDP Laban. Without the five senator allies, Ejercito, Grace Poe, Cynthia Villar, Sonny Angara, and Nancy Binay. Pimentel says, quote, They do not know what's happening behind closed doors. I'm fighting for them except we are still at a stage where we are still entertaining our party mates. That's why, if you'll notice, we don't have a final list yet. He adds, quote, They should have a priority seat in our slate. We just need to consult with the party. Ejercito also said he and other re-election senators, including Poe, Villar, Gara, Binay, and Bama Aquino, are considering a possible alliance to run under presidential daughter and Davao City Mayor Sara Duterte Carpio Sugpong ng Pagbabago. Aquino is a member of the opposition and a cousin of former President Benigno Aquino III. Although talks are not yet final, Ejercito says the six have decided to stay together, whether under a coalition or not. Supreme Court Associate Justice Teresita Leonardo de Castro on Monday presents proof she submitted the 10 required statements of assets, liabilities, and net worth to the Judicial and Bar Council when she applied for Chief Justice in 2012. JBC certified on Monday it has on record the Castro's 15 years' worth of sal ends from 1997 to 2011. The move aims to disprove Chief Justice Maria Lourdes Serena's claim that 13 other Chief Justice applicants in 2012 did not submit all required sal ends to the JBC. The Coaranto petition against Reno is based on the claim that because she did not file the necessary sal ends and did not submit them to the JBC, she did not comply with the constitutional requirement of integrity to be Chief Justice. The argument is that the appointment was void and therefore Sereno should be removed. The JBC requires 10 years' worth of sal ends from applicants who have been in public service for that long a period. Sereno, in her answer to the petition submitted to the SC, said the JBC is the authorized body to make a call if somebody passed the integrity test. She said the fact that she was shortlisted proves she passed the test. Sereno also said that the JBC waived the requirements for other applicants like De Castro and Acting Chief Justice Antonio Carpio. Carpio was the first one to come out with a certification to prove Sereno wrong, showing 13 years' worth of salience. About 20 cadets from the Philippine National Police Academy are confined to the school headquarters in Camp Castaneda and Cavite after being linked to a 2018 graduation day mauling that sent six fresh graduates to the hospital. PNPA Director Joseph Adnol says the cadets cannot leave the campgrounds while their cases are pending. Adnol says nine cadets will face both criminal and administrative charges while the remaining 11 will only face administrative charges. Two of the victims, Ilam Lambenesho and RJ Divino, are planning to file physical injury charges against their attackers, who all belong to PNPA Batch 2019. PNP Chief Ronald De La Rosa earlier said the third-year cadets allegedly mauled fresh graduates of the academy as part of a bawian or revenge tradition. De La Rosa said beating up upperclassmen should be stopped. The Supreme Court en banc, voting 7-2-5-1, affirms a 2006 decision by the Court of Appeals that validated the retrenchment implemented by the flag carrier Philippine Airlines against the Flight Attendants and Stewards Association of the Philippines, or FASA. Seven justices voted in favor of PAL, two descended, five took no part, while Chief Justice Maria Lourdes Sereno is on indefinite leave. The unbanked ruling sets aside two decisions in 2008 and 2009 by SE divisions which sided with FASAP and ordered PAL to reinstate the retrenched employees. PAL retrenched 5,000 employees including 1,400 cabin crew as part of a cost-cutting measure. PAL said then that it incurred 90 billion pesos in liabilities. This concludes a controversial 20-year legal process that saw high-profile lawyer Ashulito Mendoza taking the case for PAL. In its decision, the SC says, quote, The release and quit claim signed by the affected employee substantially satisfied the aforestated requirements. It adds, quote, A quit claim is invalid or contrary to public policy only where there is clear proof that the waiver was wrangled from an unsuspecting or gullible person or where the terms of settlement are unconscionable on their face. Based on these standards, we uphold the release and quit claim signed by the retrenched employees herein. Seoul is pushing for Gangnam Style star Sai to perform in next week's historic concerts in Pyongyang. A team of at least nine South Korean pop acts are set to visit North Korea next week for two concerts in Pyongyang, the first of their kind for more than a decade. 
The shows, part of reconciliatory moves ahead of a planned inter-Korean summit in April, feature many pop stars including K-pop girl band Red Velvet. South Korean media says the South Korean government wants to include Psy in the lineup. But Pyongyang is supposedly against the idea, concerned about Psy's provocative performance style. The 40-year-old singer became an international sensation in 2012 when his wacky but catchy Gangnam Style music video went viral on YouTube, pushing him into global stardom. Psy has tripped topless on stage and his lyrics include Korean swear words. Mm -hmm.